It's 10 minutes on the game clock. Our 10 minute sprint to the women's final starts now. Uzbekistan with the rock. They move it beautifully. She's on the move like the lease is up. Avdiva places to go and buckets to get. She's got one. The two missed from Clark. Here's faux two. Rocking number faux two. That one faux two, but it's a miss. Subsequent foul on the rebound. Saw New Zealand really get into some foul trouble in uh, the semifinal. Obviously, they're clean of fouls at this point with 20 seconds in. And we got another whistle. A second foul back-to-back -back on Uzbekistan. Abdiva is checked back in. And Natalia Koneva is out for the ladies in blue. Pass down low. Shot uh, well off the mark. Recovered and still missed. So reminiscent of game number one, the Tall Ferns had plenty of opportunities near the basket. They just missed back to back. We'll see if they can wipe that away from their memory and start making them count. The goal is to put the round thing in the round thing. Uzbekistan the only team to do it to this point. Active hands on the baseline there. So New Zealand will open the possession, top of the key. Oh, Tiarna with the stop and go. That shot though made difficult. Some more solid defense, but oh, double dribble. So Tiarna will swing it over, 4-2, down low. Gold Rick, ooh, threw it in reverse, and a nice finish. Pull up baseline, nope. Tiana Clark, locked up, almost turned over. Oh, offensive foul. That one called on the Gold Rick, she kind of dropped the shoulder there. So she earns the whistle. Possession back over to Uzbekistan. Who will start this one top of the key with Kushnit Denova. Watch the movement again for Uzbekistan. And they got more shooters than Dick Tracy. There's one of them. Knock it down to two. Abdiva has her team up. Another offensive foul call. So Poop Poop, as I'm told they call her back home, Poop Poop call for the offensive foul. I like that nickname. 3-1 start for Uzbekistan, two minutes in. Wide open shooter coming off the curl. In terms of understanding some of the nuances of good offense, Uzbekistan has shown that. Tough defense on the inside, forces yet another miss. Little Hezzy, Koneva, she's looking for some daylight. She steps back, but she's followed like a shadow and forced to travel. Ball back over to the Kiwis. Couple fouls on each team. Just over two minutes in. And New Zealand trying to recapture some of that offensive spark again. Fo two down low. Poop, poop. Uh uh. Sent away. Koneva with Clark Garden. She decides to give it up. Kuznit Denova in a rush to the cup. 4 1. Here's Clark. She decides to drive. Goes baseline, nowhere to go. The scoop, not the right flavor. Quick kick out, Koneva. Ooh, good defense on the closeout from Clark to prevent the make. 
4-2, making her move. She stops, she kicks, she's got Clark again. Clark, that time, she connects like a Zoom meeting. 4-3, after the two ball. Cross court pass. Got a good advantage here. Samatova, turn around, puts it down. 5-3. Clark now comes up short in the deep end. Shallow, I should say. Another two off the mark from Pook Pook. Uh-oh, Koneva. They leave her open. And she's got reservations for two now. Don't leave her alone. Seven to three. Uzbekistan in control here. First four minutes of the game. Tiana Clark will get it down low. But a shot clock violation. So in a, a subsequent TV timeout. So this is the women's final. It all comes down to this. The stakes oh, don't get higher. You obviously want to give your country a chance to represent at the biggest national event for FIBA 3x3, the World Cup, making its return for the first time since 2019. New Zealand 2018 gold medalist at the Asia Cup. Uzbekistan is yet to uh, put their stamp on any tournament in terms of uh, medals. But they are in the driver's seat so far. Kushnita Nova missed down low. <laughs> and uh, as the way is cleared, that bucket made good by McGoldrick. That shot not good. Seven to four is where it stands. Tiana Clark, 2-4-2. Two, two. They were such a dynamic duo day one. But they have not been on the same page day two. Oh, my goodness. She hit that one from Cook Mountain. That was way off in the water. Seven to six game now. Now things are starting to tighten up a little bit. Uzbekistan still in front, setting good screens and getting good shots. While wow, that one did not count. You can't draw it up better than that. Koneva's getting every opportunity that, uh, that she wants. Shooting at a pretty good clip there beyond two-point arc. We'll see if uh, they can defend her next time. Oh, no defense for that. She froze her. She needs to hit the refresh button. Tiana Clark, it'd be a good time for her to get it going. Now the two was launched, but that shot did not meet his mark. Out to Clark, she's gonna come and receive the screen from McGoldrick, actually passes the screen up. She's filling it again from two. But uh, these goals ain't loyal. 7-7, seven, seven, it stays. Nice bullet pass, no finish though. And a push call. So Diva giving her a hip check. Probably really no need for that. You got an offensive player that's struggling to stay in bounds. It's hard to resist that urge to help give him that extra nudge, but that's going to earn you a whistle. Four fouls on Uzbekistan, 4-2. Driving to the cup, but way off the mark on the shot. Koneva, she's got a cutter. Pull-up jumper is a miss from Samatova. 4-2, setting up shop on the right wing. She's got Pook Pook on the pocket pass, and she puts the cookie in the cup. Swing through, Koneva to the left, to the left. Mm -mm. Good D from Clark. Nice passing as well, Pook Pook. That shot was uh, another point blank miss. Good positioning. But again, got to make those count. It's 8-7. The tall ferns in front by the slimmest of margins. 3.57 remaining. TV timeout. 
heading down the final stretch of this one. And the winner will have a ticket. They have to split it in four pieces. But the destination is what matters, and that's Antwerp, Belgium, where the FIBA 3X3 World Cup 2022 will be held. Eight seven as we get back to it. McGoldrick hands it off. Four two gives it up. Give and go. Nice two woman game right there, leading to the bucket and a warning, as you cannot defend in the semicircle after a made bucket. Next one will amount to a technical. Possession, Uzbekistan, trying to pull off an upset here. Nice passing. Better pass to cap things off with a dish. Step back. You don't know me like that. She's way off in the deep end like usual as Tiana Clark is starting to feel it like a masseuse. Took a little while to start to get into her groove, but she seems to be in it now. 11 to 8. And Samatova. Fader is no good. Poked away. It's going to stay with White with 10 seconds on the shot clock, 3.16 on the game clock. Back to it and back down to the basement. And that time it is Robotin putting it in. Four-point advantage here for the Tall Ferns. Faux two wants to get it down low. Goldrick going to the left. Quick clear. Koneva, she's going to draw the foul on the baseline. Twelve eight, where we pick it up. Kushnit Denova, Samatova. Uh, she thought there was an extra step to the process. One too many. Turnover. Back over to White. Had a cutter. Got it to her eventually. Pook Pook kicks it out. Faux two. No two. Koneva watching on the bench. Kushnit Denova, the up fake. Put TC down. She couldn't put the layup down. Good defense there, which will force a shot clock violation. So New Zealand swaps bigs. As Pook Pook is out. Gold Rick is in. Faux two will open the possession. Quickly over to Goldrick, jab step. She's going left again, stops short, turns around, up through the defense, contact on the shot. Shooting one. Uzbekistan with one more foul to give before they're in the penalty. So Ezra McGoldrick. She's going to put it in there. Up fake. Oh, actually a smart defensive play. Otherwise, that was going to be an easy layup. So, Sharni Puk Puk Robati with a heads up play with her foot. Five point lead for New Zealand. Uzbekistan's got to turn some of that good ball movement into points. Koneva, step back. And that was Steph esque. Created great space with that step back. And she cuts down some of the space in the lead. 13 to 9. Girl by Swadic. Now, can you turn defense to offense? Is the qu Oh, not today. That one slipped. Uh, that one is slippery because it's wet. Car uh, Tiarna. 
doing it yet again. Quick response there, Samatova with the short jumper. Now, Tiana. Another step back. She is in her bag like cosmetics. Back-to-back -back twos. It's a two-peat. And Tiana's changing the temperature in, indoors. She is ablaze. They fell asleep. Bullet pass to Pook Pook. And the writing's on the wall. This ain't Sam Smith. This is the women's final. And only 45 seconds left. Pook Pook for two. No. Good defense playing the passing lanes. There's Tiana Clark. Timeout on the floor. But it's looking like New Zealand has this one well in the bag. And that ticket to Belgium is all but in between their fingers. Uzbekistan, a little bit out of gas. Not exactly out of hope with 36 seconds left. 12 second shot clocks means we will see a few possessions, but uh, they got to get shots up quick and they obviously need to go down. Capable shooters on this team, but it's looking pretty grim for them at the moment. Koneva thought about it. She's going to get a cutter, had a cutter, but throws it away. So New Zealand here, no need to force a shot. This is where you use the shot clock as much of it as you can. 12 seconds, of course, unless they just want to get to 21. But no need to force anything. They take their time with four now to shoot, two to shoot, four two, four two. It's a two-piece combo. 19-11 and only 14 ticks left. That layup won't matter. This two would have put it away. Tiana, she wants it again. Tiana is a professional bucket getter. She needs one more. The two is short, but New Zealand do not come up short. The tall ferns stand tall, and they earn that one ticket from here in Doha, their destination, Antwerp, Belgium, for the 2022 FIBA 3X3 World Cup. They represent for the ladies, and they represent for Asia.